so far to the left. Just move too far left. Both Republican and Democratic media are manufacturing the lie that President Joe Biden is too far left. Despite, of course, many of those same people in the media calling him the reasonable moderate during the Democratic primary in 2020, and Biden clearly has not shifted to the left since then, but I'll get to more data showing you that Biden clearly is not too far left and he's actually too far right. But first, here is a couple examples from Fox News and MSNBC making this ridiculous claim. Why are you trying so hard in your first year to pull the country so far to the left? Well, I'm not. I don't know what you consider to be too far to the left if, in fact, we're talking about making sure that we had the money for COVID, making sure we had the money to put together the bipartisan infrastructure, making sure we were able to provide for those things that, in fact, would significantly reduce the burden on working class people, but make them they have to continue to work hard. I don't know how that is pulling it to the left. So why is it that it seems time and time again, the president has overreached, moved too far left, and has not been able to bring those final two senators home? Well, first of all, I think the president is right in the middle of where the country is. You look at what's in our Build Back Better plan, bringing down the cost of childcare. I think that's a very moderate thing for families. Reducing the cost of prescription drugs, saying you shouldn't have to pay more than 35 bucks for insulin. I, I, don't, I think that's an all-American mainstream proposal. All right, so first of all, I will get to actual data showing you that not only is Joe Biden not too far left, He's also not in the center. He's actually too far right. But first, just uh, I just want to share this because this shows you how things have shifted in the Senate over the past uh, 20 or 15 so years. So Kasim Rashid here tweeting out in 2006, Senate on voting rights, Republicans 53 yes, zero no, Democrats 45 yes, zero no. In 2022, Senate on voting rights, Republicans zero yes, 50 no, Democrats 48 yes, two no. Media, have Democrats shifted too far left? <laughs> it is unbelievable. On this issue alone, it's very clear that things have not gone too far left. It's so absurd to claim that. But look, from Fox News, before I get to more data here, from Fox News, you kind of expect it. I mean, they were calling Joe Biden a socialist in, you know, the primary, in the election last year. Clearly, you know, or two years ago. Clearly not a socialist. Um, but when it comes to Joe Scarborough and MSNBC... They were calling Biden the reasonable moderate during the 2020 primary while he was running on a public option on canceling student debt, on raising the wage, on decriminalizing marijuana. He hasn't delivered on that agenda at all, hasn't even barely fought for any of those issues, yet now he's somehow too far left. Notice how they never give you any examples when they claim this. So if you ever watch any of these ridiculous shows and, and, and they make a claim like this, wait for them to actually give you some examples. Because they're not going to, because they can't. <laughs> what are they going to point to? What has Biden done that's too far to the left? It's completely absurd. So, and by the way, a question like this to Biden is the equivalent of MSNBC asking Joe Manchin, why are you trying to pull the country too far right? Yet, they've never asked him that. Th this kind of question is only posed from right-wingers that are trying to pull politicians to the right. Why are you going too far left, making them have to then, uh, essentially gaslighting them into then trying to prove to people that actually they're in the center or they're on the right wing? When, like, and then what that does is it pulls the entire conversation even further right because these politicians who are already on the right wing have to further prove that they're on the right wing. So now let me get to this, uh, this, this data here. So, I mean, also, I guess, just quickly, worth mentioning. Yeah, Biden has not fought at all for his agenda. I mean, his agenda already was on the right, hasn't fought for it. <laughs> that alone, it should be obvious why he's not on the left. But let's get to some specific examples here about Biden being too far on the right. So, two and three voters, while two and three voters support a public option, partisan divides remain on Medicare for all. Now, it's funny how <laughs> these sorts of polls have to make it, you know, basically treat these issues as divisive, even when in reality, the majority of people still support the issue. So 55% of voters in this recent poll last year support Medicare for all. All voters, a majority support Medicare for all. Now, 
It's hard to find a majority of support on most issues for anything. Yet here you have a majority of Americans supporting Medicare for all. Joe Biden not even fighting for a public option. And that is at 68%. He won't even fight for what he promised in his agenda while he was running. The vast majority of people support that, let alone they also support Medicare for all. But too far left. Biden too far left. Not even uh, fighting for a public option. But let's also take a look at legalizing marijuana. Another issue, Biden can do this by himself. So in terms of, okay, to be fair, there is another piece of it so he can remove marijuana as a Schedule One drug. He can't properly legalize it himself, but he can do something about this to start the steps to proper legalization, and he's not doing it. He can do it alone. He's not doing it. Support at 68% to legalize marijuana. And by the way, these numbers, look this up yourself. You'll find similar numbers everywhere else. This is just Gallup polling, but you can look at Pew Research, look at any other reputable research uh, or, or, or um, uh, polling uh, outlet. You will find similar results. And also, before I even go on to more data here, it's also important to point out that, you know, polling is not the most important thing. So even before, say, Medicare for All, even before Medicare for All had a majority of support, it was still the right thing to do. Even before marijuana had a majority of support, uh, it was still the right thing to do. So polling should not be our measurement for thing, for what should be done, but it's just to show you that any claim that Joe Biden is too far right or any politician that that is similar to Joe Biden is too far right is just completely absurd if you actually look at what people are calling for. Next issue here. More than 60% of voters support some student loan debt forgiveness. During the campaign, Biden promised to cancel $10,000 of student debt for every person that has student debt. He can do that himself. He does not need anybody else, does not need Congress. He can do that himself. That's within his power. He is not doing it. Majority of support. These are the things that would help him, whether it's taking marijuana out of a Schedule One drug, whether it's uh, canceling student loan debt. This would help his numbers, help the Democratic Party, help them in the midterms, help them into the future, if they actually help people with these very popular policies, but they are not doing it, and they're still being called too far left. Last issue here. Most Americans support a $15 an hour federal, federal minimum wage. Of course they do. Yet, where's the fight on this? They could have, Biden and Kamala Harris, could have disregarded the parliamentarian at the beginning of last year when this was an initially a push in the, uh, the, the first bill they passed. They could have disregarded the parliamentarian, actually put this into that bill and passed it, the budget reconciliation bill. But they didn't do that. And has a majority of support. Again, another issue that they failed on. They have the power to do this and they are not doing it, not even fighting for it. But again too far left. <laughs> it's just so completely ridiculous. Now, you may wonder why. Why is the media manufacturing this lie that Biden is too far left? And ultimately, it all goes back to them protecting capitalism and their place in society. These people on television, these multi-millionaire news actors like Joe Scarborough, they are very comfortable in the way society operates right now. They make good money. They're happy. They don't want things to change. They want to actually pressure the administration and other politicians to placate corporate interests. So even when a politician like Biden is already on the right, they're trying to, they're going to gaslight him to act like he's actually too far left to ensure they are keeping him on the right. So as long as Biden is busy convincing people that he's not on the left, then that protects their interests and he's no threat to corporations either. This is an ongoing issue. And hopefully, you know, information like this gets out. People learn how ridiculous it is. And honestly, I think a lot of people do realize just, you know, seeing it themselves because they know what they support. So if a majority of people support these issues, they're watching shows like this and thinking, how is Biden too far left? So a lot of people, I think, can, you know, think for themselves and realize this. But it's still this, the it's the overwhelming amount of propaganda that gets pushed out and treated as fact when in reality there is no truth at all to it that has a massive impact on Washington and how politicians look and fight or don't fight for these various issues.